According to U.S. Central Command, on Sunday, U.S. Central Command forces conducted a strike in self-defense against a Houthi land attack cruise missile. U.S. forces also hitting four anti-ship cruise missiles, all of which were prepared to launch against ships in the Red Sea. Joining us live to shed light on this ongoing conflict and break it down is former U.S. Army Colonel Joe Buccino. Joe, good morning. As always, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks. The uh, back and forth here continues. And uh, right now, it's really it's up to Iran to determine the next steps. We're waiting to see what Iran does. Joe, as you mentioned, next steps, what could those include? Because it's been a very active weekend with strikes from both sides. Well, we are going to do, Central Command is going to do another pass here. It's going to continue bombing these targets in Iraq and Syria. There'll be one more pass there. We're also gathering intelligence, analyzing what the Iranian leadership is saying in, in uh, signals that we pick up communications we pick up, we're, we're seeing who's moving around, what the next steps are, how much damage we caused, and what we need to hit again. Joe, how did we even get to this point, and where does this conflict stem from? Many people confused about what is the real issue. Well, the real issue here is Iran. So we've got these uh, Shia uh, groups operating in Iraq and Syria that are attacking our forces. We've got the Houthis in Yemen. The Houthis are basically uh, basically just a motorcycle gang in one of the poorest countries on earth. They have been causing problems for almost a decade. And Iran is sending them drones and very high tech uh, rockets and missiles that they're, they've been using to attack commercial ships in the Red Sea. And we really, Iran is, is the major hand behind these things. These groups uh, and Iran are using the war in Gaza as a way to gain credibility in the region. So these groups, they're Shia groups. They don't really care about the Palestinian cause. They never have, have caught, cared about the Palestinian cause. They're using this, this war in Gaza to gain credibility in the region and to attack American forces. And every time we bomb these targets, every time we bomb these Shia groups, they claim it as a victory. And it actually gives them a higher status in the region that American forces are using all of their assets and multi-million dollar weapon systems to attack them. Joe, you mentioned the attack on American forces. With you being a retired U.S. Army colonel, you know, we've already lost three service members. Um, knowing how all of this works and what goes on behind closed doors, is the U.S. doing what they need to be doing to protect the troops that are out there, or would you say they need to do more? Well, we need to do more. We need to strike around because the groups that we're hitting now, they will reconstitute very quickly. and. Once they reconstitute, they're going to continue attacking uh, our forces. This is something that uh, Iran is going to, you know, Iran kind of turns the dials up and up and down on these groups, you know, you know, directs them to go out, directs them to pull back. And once they're reconstituted, Iran is going to flush them with rockets and drones once again. Uh, once they reconstituted in that manner, which is only going to be a matter of weeks, they're going to continue attacking American troops. To keep American troops safe, we've got to hit it inside Iran and make Iran feel pain and make Iran think about continuing to support these attacks on American troops. Several things being impacted by this, including commerce. I want to ask you, um, has the worst happened with this conflict or could it get deadlier and more severe? Well, it could get a lot worse could get a lot worse. If you think about it, every time our troops are attacked inside uh, these bases, they've got 60 seconds or less. You know, there's a warning that goes out. They've got 60 seconds or less to get underneath a cement bunker if they have one. So, you know, we could see more of our soldiers wounded and killed. We could also see this thing escalate into a wider war you know, right now it's kind of just simmering beneath the surface between the United States and Iran. We can see this thing explode into a wider war. 
You know, you've also got other countries, other factions that are involved, Lebanese, Hezbollah, to, around, to Israel's south, to Israel's north, is firing rockets at Israel. So that could that could really heat up, that, that could really explode. You know, right now Baghdad is, is signaling that they want American troops out of Iraq. Okay, so that could be another flashpoint there. So this thing is on a razor's edge and it could get worse. Joe Buccino, I always enjoy speaking with you as you break the latest information down to the viewers. Is there anything else we need to be keeping a close eye on? I know sometimes uh, the viewers, we see what's going on in real time and what, you know, the media is portraying. But I, again, I know you know a lot of what goes on behind closed doors and what could potentially happen in the coming days. Well, the next few days are going to be important. We'll wait and see what happens. Iran has to render a decision right now. And doing nothing is a decision, okay? Uh, responding forcefully is a decision. You know, we're hoping Iran does nothing. We're hoping that these Shia groups are quiet for a few days, you know, and then our bombing passes will continue in the meantime. So the next few days are going to be critical in this conflict. Retired U.S. Army Colonel Joe Buccino, as always, we appreciate you joining live now from Fox to keep us informed. You enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you.